congratulations. Uh, you must love this club, you know, getting that deal done today. Yeah, you know, it's something we've sort of been working on for a while now. And you know, I think we definitely always said we wanted to stay at the club and it was just about getting the finer details down. So you know, when I got the phone call then from, from Tommy Petro saying that it's all done, you know, it was definitely a massive relief for, for myself and, and, you know, really happy to be at the footy club. Never any thought to leave at all? No, we, we hadn't spoken to anyone. Um, you know, we, I think we had lots of chats for the last probably few months with, with the footy club and with, with Walshy and, and Cam Joyce. But, you know, I think it was, yeah, we, we always said I wanted to stay at the club and, you know, we wish had to get a deal done and, and you know, credit to, to Walshy and, and to Tommy as well that they, they got something done. How much of it, how does it, you can see something really good building here? Oh, there's definitely a lot of excitement around the group of, of what we can achieve, but, you know, I think, you know, I've, I've been at North now for, for eight years and, and this will take me into, into my tenth year into, into the footy club, so, you know, I know what this footy club's about and, and I love what, what, what it's about and, and that's, that's what I want to be part of. Friday, mate, coming up against Hamish for the first time. How do you feel about that? Yeah, you know, it was it was a bit weird coming against him in the NAB Cup. Um, obviously, that's got nothing compared to to what this week's about. But you know, he, he's a great North person and always will be, even though he's he's at the club. And I know he was shattered when he when he had to leave. Um, he's got a lot of good mates here, so it's going to be a different one. And he obviously knows a lot about us as a footy club and and us as individuals. So we'll definitely throw up a few challenges. But you know, in terms of Friday night, it's it's all, all guns blazing now. You obviously know a lot about your game as well. You know a lot about his. Yeah, you know, I think, I think it's, that's the AFL now. I think n nothing is, is hidden anymore. There's no tricks that up your sleeve. Every club knows everything about every player. So, yeah, you know, yes, obviously he knows us a little bit more in depth, but, you know, I think every club knows us pretty well by now. How much of a help was he when you were sort of starting to transition into the number one spot? Oh, H played a massive part of, of my career, especially early on you know, with him and, and Dave Hale as well. They were obviously the, the two main rucks when I got here and, and everything they, they could help me with, any wisdom they had for me, they were always happy to sit down and help and, and take me out for some extras and things like that. So, yeah, he's played a massive part of it and, and you know, I thank him a lot for that. And he's been going well in Geelong? Yeah, it's been really good. You know, it was, I think as a footy club, we're all shattered to see that he, he wasn't able to get out, out on the park last year and, and you know, we're, everyone's wrapped that he, he got a game round one and, and that he's been playing really good footy. So, you know, we're, we're all couldn't be happy, just hopefully it's not against us this week. But potentially a top four spot up for grabs. There's a fair bit on this game, isn't it? Yeah, I think, I think there's a fair bit on every game. Um, the competition's that close these days that, you know, you can't afford to drop to anyone. Every team can beat can beat anyone on their day. But you know, I think to be able to go down to Geelong and, and put up a good showing, I think, you know, probably our away games have been where we struggled. and. You know, we've, we've sort of got rid of a few hoodos winning in Sydney and, and also against um, Freo in Perth. So, you know, it's another big challenge for the group and, and that's what we're looking as it for is, you know, to really try and step up and, and make the most of the opportunity we have. you've won two of the past three against the Cats. So why do you match up so well on them? I, th I think it's just, you know, it's the way it's been. I think we've been, we've been probably lucky in terms of what we thought they might do has, has panned out. And, but really, in the end, Every game boils down to you got to try and win contested possessions, you've got to try and win clearances, and, and when you have the ball, you got to use it use it properly, and, and that's what we've done well, I think, for the previous games, and, and I think this game will be no different. Talk a little bit about the contested possessions and the Cats, you know, that being a chink in their armour um, story today. Are you expecting them to be sort of pretty hungry in that aspect? Oh, we expect them to be right on their game, and, and, and we don't want anything less. I think you know, the colour of players they've got in, in Jimmy Bartell, in Joel Selwood, in... You know, you can go on for for hours listing the, the players they've got. They're all very good contested players, and we know that. So, you know, whether, however they've been beaten, you know, the past few weeks, we know we're not going to get that same effort. You know, we know they're going to be desperate to to win every ball they can they can get their hands on, and and they definitely have the quality player. So, you know, we're going to be right in our game and, and ready for a contest. How much of an effect do you think the trip to Perth will have on them? You guys done it earlier this year, and you came back and you, you got done by Gold Coast. Yeah, you know, I think. All the teams, their their recovery protocols are, are pretty good these days. You got to, every team's got to get used to travelling, so you know I, we don't expect it to affect them too much. And you know, it would be great if it did, but you know I don't think I don't think it will worry them too much. I'm sure they've got their processes involved to to get them ready to play. And you know, it's it's another it's four points up for grabs, so they'll be doing everything they can to to take it. Did you feel any effect coming back from Perth earlier in the year? No, not really. I think I think it was it was all right. You know, you always feel take a couple of days to recover from from any trip. You know, I think, especially for me, over two metres tall, sitting in the seats isn't, isn't too comfortable. But you know, you, you get used to that sort of thing, and you know, it's just part of being part of the AFL now. You got you got to get used to travelling, and that's a great thing about the game. Is there much banter with Hamish when you last 
Would you play when it was a nab? Yeah, the nab game. Nab um, game. Oh, for myself, no, I'm, I'm not too lippy, but I'm sure I know Nathan Grime was looking forward to, to playing on his on one of his best mates, and you know I think Boom is always always good for for a few words. I even think I heard H say on this morning on the radio that I think Lockie Hanson tried to say something, but who knows what comes out of Lockie's mouth? He doesn't even know. Does he you so much himself? Or? Nah, you know, he, he didn't say anything to me too much. Um, you know, I, I, he's pretty quick witted around when you talk to him around around the change room and stuff. But you know, you never know. You might come up with something tomorrow night. Hopefully, it'll be good fun. Players always talk about putting contract discussions to one side, um, you know, concentrating on form and whatnot. Did you find it any sort of distraction or burden? No, not at all. I think that's why we have managers is, is to deal with that sort of stuff. And, you know, I think there's a lot going on in, in a game when, you know, I think if you're worrying about your contract when you're, when you're going for a ruck contest, then you know, you're probably not right to play the game. And that's all I could do is there's so much going on in a game of AFL footy these days that, you know, once the ball bounces, that's all you're thinking about is your role and, and what you have to do in your role and the contract stuff, that, that takes care of itself. Thanks, mate. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate.